Welcome to the new Congress president. Thank you very much. So, where do we go from here for the Congress party as well as for the country? Because Congress also symbolizes, you know, uh, political continuity, a historical continuity from the days of freedom struggle right up to now. And it is at its lowest at the moment. So how do you think the Congress can play that role again of a vanguard, vanguard of freedoms also? Because freedom is what is in peril even today. So how do you plan to go about it? I liked very much Mr. Manmohan Singh Ji's formulation today, which is the politics of hope versus the politics of fear, or you can say the politics of anger. BJP has divided society and they have created a false animosity between our people. And I think Congress party's role is to create a bridge between our people, start a conversation where we can once again start to say that we are all Indian, that we are not a particular class, caste or religion, but our first identity is that of an Indian. And after that comes all our other identities. So I think that is something that the Congress ideology can do. That has been the Congress ideology and the Congress has been doing it for long. But the problem is that the Congress ideology itself is threatened now. So word secularism, globally the right is on the rise. There is a tremendous fear uh, among the youth all over. So in that situation, I think you are one of the first Congress presidents who have to defend not only the Congress ideology, but the constitution which is under stress now. Yes. Periodically, if you look at Indian history, this happens. A sort of a polarization, you, you saw it in the 90s as well. Uh, but I think primarily this country stands together and very deeply this country believes in love and affection. This country does not believe in hatred. So it's not the, it is not the normal. And of course, there has also been a large organized deformation campaign against the Congress party carried out by the BJP and the RSS. Uh, very organized. Very organized, systematic against its leaders, against its workers, against its ideas, against its past. I, I really felt this in Gujarat that certain myths are created, which are just lies. I mean, in Gujarat, the myth is that the, in Gujarat, the myth is that Jawaharlal Nehru and Sardar Patel didn't get along. It's a lie. Jawaharlal Nehru and Sardar Patel were friends. They spent time in jail together. They disagreed on certain things, but they were friends. And Sardar Patel uh, had very strong views against the RSS and against the very ideology that Mr. Modi stands for. So the systematic sort of spreading of these ideas. Also, the notion that there can never be a threat to India because India is fundamentally strong. There is no, uh, there is no power in the world that can actually threaten India. And I think that those are some of is the Is it values. being generated very uh, to create a sort of a uh, perceived enemy? And uh, as I said um, in my talk in the United States and also uh, in my campaign in Gujarat, there is a central problem that India is facing, which is that India is simply not producing enough jobs for the number of youngsters in this country. And that is creating a certain amount of anger. Over the last three years, you've also crippled, really, the economy. Demonetization and Gabbar Singh tax, as we call it, uh, has really hurt the spine of the Indian economy, the small and middle businesses, and it's, it's imposed a massive tax. So there is a sense of anger uh, among people. And you have to go to the foundations, you have to fix these problems before that anger starts to reduce. People say that the Congress is not ready it's organizationally to take on the organizational uh, challenge of the RSS and BJP combined. How do you propose to, to revive the, this problem or is it, is, do you feel that it is a problem with Congress or don't? I mean, there is a lot of work that the Congress party has to do. There is a large number of new people that we have to bring forward. There is tremendous talent in the Congress party that we have to utilize. But one has to realize that there is a systematic campaign against the Congress party. 
and we are going to show to the country the true face of the Congress party. You are going to see a change in the Congress party. You are going to start seeing people who excite you. People who you say, okay, that's somebody, that's an interesting person put there by the Congress, decent person, solid person, and that's someone I'd like to associate with. So that is something that we're going So your plan is to transform the Congress from downward down to upwards? Yes. It is not my plan. It is the desire in the Congress party to transform and evolve and change itself. And I would, I would try and help enable that. Do you As think the Congress, Congress would democratize itself more? That was certainly my intention. We have done a lot of work in the Youth Congress and NSUI uh, and very successful work. And we would like to bring in as many new faces, young faces, exciting, dynamic faces. That's not to say that people who are experienced and older should not have space. There will be a balance, you mean? Yes. yes. Between the old... There's tremendous, there's tremendous talent in the Congress party. I mean, you look at... Just look at your present cabinet, right? And compare it to the cabinet uh, of the UPA. Just, just imagine those names. Compare, compare a, a, I mean, a Manmohan Singh ji to Mr. Uh, Modi. Compare a Chitambaram to Mr. Arun Jaitley. Tell me who uh, compares with Pranabda in their government. Tell me who compares with Mr. Anthony in their government. So, uh, tremendous talent. When you when you actually look at them, from a policy perspective, there's not much weight there. हम गुजरात के बारे में बातें कर रहे थे और जैसा पहले कहा आपने कि कांग्रेस सब कुछ साथ लेके चलने में यकीन करती है और इंडियन्स हम फर्स्ट हैं भारतीय पहले हैं और ये और वो और ये सेक्शन में ये कम्युनिटी वो बाद में हैं गुजरात में एक क्रिटिसिज्म कांग्रेस का करते रहे बीजेपी वाले कि जो ये वॉइसेस थी कास्ट लाइंस पे आप उनको साथ लेके आए और समाज में एक बंटवारा करने की कोशिश की अजीब सी बात है हर समाज के लोग हमारे साथ खड़े हैं अल्पेश जिग्नेश हार्दिक सब एक साथ खड़े हैं अलग अलग समाज के लोग शुरुआत में बीजेपी कहती है कि हम ओबीसी मुद्दे पे यह चुनाव लड़ेंगे तो अजीब सी बात है कहते वो हैं बांटते वो हैं और फिर हमारे बारे में कहते हैं कि हम बांट रहे हैं यू आर एबल टू ब्रेक दिस परसेप्शन गुजरात में आप एबल टू द पॉइंट इज हार्दिक इज अ पटेल जिग्नेश इज अ दलित अल्पेश इज एन ओबीसी ऑल द कम्युनिटी इज गॉट टूगेदर ऑन द कांग्रेस प्लेटफॉर्म हाउ केन यू क्यूज अस ऑफ बींग कास्ट इज दे ऑल स्टैंडिंग ऑन आर प्लेटफॉर्म on the other hand the patels are furious with you the obc are furious with you the dalit are furious with you and you are saying that you're going to fight the election on obc and you're telling us that we are dividing society it's quite amazing it's like mahatma gandhi sardar patel ji jawalal nehru spending years and years in jail mr savarkar basically signing surrender to the british and then the bjp is saying that gandhi and patel are their leaders if you read patel you will see that he is criticizing the rss he is criticizing the bjp ideology he banned it he banned it so it is the it is the idea of a propagation of a lie the truth doesn't matter there's a very interesting video i don't know if you've seen it of mr modi talking about the bullet train yes right where he says look it's not the reality of the train that's important is the perception of the train that's important so the reality is of no consequence to these people the truth is of no consequence that's right gujarat ka bhi jo chunav jisse aap lot ke aaye hain bhi isme khul kar pradhan mantri ki or se hate politics ka prachar hua gujarat ke naam ke upar logon se vote mange gaye dharm ke naam ke upar ke naam se vote mange gaye ek pradhan mantri ke star ke upar aisi baatein karna हाउ डू यू रिएक्ट टू दिस काइंड ऑफ कैंपेन उनका आप हिस्टोरिकल रिकॉर्ड देखिए प्यार से तो उन्होंने कभी बात किसी के बारे में नहीं की आप हमारी पार्टी को छोड़ दीजिए उनकी पार्टी को देखिए हर चीज के बारे में नफरत से बात करते ये उनकी फिलोसफी है ये इनको सिखाया गया है सालों से इनको सिखाया गया है 
एक्स प्राइम मिनिस्टर के बारे में जिस प्रकार इन्होंने बोला मनमोहन सिंह जी के बारे में उनको ये इल्जाम लगाना कि पाकिस्तान के साथ में बैठ के लोगों के साथ बैठ के षडयंत्र कर रहे थे जिस व्यक्ति ने अपनी पूरी जिंदगी दी है हिंदुस्तान को नाइन्टीज में हिंदुस्तान की इकोनॉमी को खड़ा किया है दस साल प्रधानमंत्री बने क्या नहीं दिया उन्होंने और उनके बारे में कहते हैं और क्यों थोड़े से वोट लेने के लिए चुनाव जीतने के लिए चुनाव जीतने के लिए ये तो इनकी स्टाइल है आपने कहा समाज में हिंसा फैल रही है आज अपने भाषण में आपने वहाँ कहा और ये हिंसा बड़े सुनियोजित ढंग से फैलाई जा रही है उसमें लिंचिंग के भी आपने चर्चा की तो इस हिंसा का कांग्रेस जैसा जानते हैं हम सत्य और अहिंसा इस बुनियाद पर खड़ी थी इस हिंसा का मुकाबला करने के लिए क्या कांग्रेस के पास अब इतने सक्षम कार्यकर्ता बचे हैं क्या जगह जगह कांग्रेस का संगठन है क्या इतनी हिम्मत आप देखते हैं कांग्रेस कांग्रेस एक स्टैटिक चीज नहीं है कांग्रेस एक डायनामिक जीती चीज है हम कांग्रेस पार्टी के दरवाजे खोल देंगे और पूरे देश के युवाओं को एक ऑल्टरनेटिव विजन प्यार का भाईचारे का विजन हम देंगे कांग्रेस पार्टी देगी दो विजन है एक आप हिंदुस्तान में क्रोध फैला सकते हो गुस्सा फैला सकते हो तीन साल पहले लोगों ने सोचा था ठीक है आरएसएस के विजन की जो कमियां हैं उसको हम सह लेंगे मगर शायद हमारा फायदा होगा पता लगा कमियां आ गई मगर फायदा नहीं मिला आप मुझे बताइए जी डीमोनेटाइजेशन से किसको फायदा हुआ गब्बर सिंह टैक्स से किसको फायदा हुआ जीडीपी जो कोलैप्स कर गई है उससे किसको फायदा हुआ 450 लोगों को आप 24 घंटे में रोजगार देते हो पूरे हिंदुस्तान में चाइना पचास हजार को 24 घंटे में देता है आप कहते हो हम चाइना से मुकाबला करेंगे आप 450 युवाओं को दिन में रोजगार देते हो साल में एक लाख को भी नहीं दे पाते वो दो दिन में जो करते हैं आप एक साल में करते हो तो यह सब जनता को दिख रहा है किसान को यह बात समझ आ रही है कि भाई हमें सही दाम नहीं मिल रहा है किसान ये देख सकता है कि तीन चार लाख करोड़ रुपए दस पंद्रह लोगों के माफ हो रहे हैं किए जा रहे हैं और जब हम मांगते हैं तो हमें अरुण जेटली जी कहते हैं भैया आपका कर्जा माफ करना हमारी पॉलिसी नहीं है तो ये तो दिखाई दे रहा है और गुस्सा लोगों में आ रहा है गुस्सा यू मीन डिसमेंट डिसमेंट गुस्सा बीजेपी के खिलाफ लोगों में आ रहा है आप गुजरात में कैंपेन कर रहे थे आपको तो बिल्कुल साफ दिखाई दी होगी ये बात कल मैं दिल्ली में आ, कहीं जा रहा था ऑटो रिक्शे वाले ने मुझे ऐसे रोका हाथ जोड़ के कहता है राहुल जी आप हमें इन लोगों से बचा दीजिए ये हालत है इन लोगों ने तो हमारी जिंदगी तबाह कर दी है ख़त्म कर दिया हमें पचास रुपये मिलते थे अब पच्चीस मिलते हैं तो ये हालत है और देश को दिख रहा है यानी बैंक्रप्सी है बैंक्रप्सी सी है 